okay, where I left this Robotron game was you have the hero that can run around and the enemies, as you can see, are chasing the hero and you shoot the enemies and then at level two it's the same thing except the enemies are have greater numbers and they can move a little faster so it adds a level of difficulty but before I leave this game and um, move on to the next game what I wanted to do was I wanted to add a situation where maybe there could be different kinds of enemies maybe the enemies could also shoot things maybe they could behave differently those kinds of things so what I did was is I added some some code and I'll show you where I'm at right now and then I'll show you how I was able to do it. So now at level one it's the same scenario. Okay, but at level two we're going to introduce a new enemy. So you can see here at level two there is this these new enemies that walk around and you can't shoot them. As you can see I can't shoot them. Um, if you run into them the hero character dies and they move around in a different manner and sometimes they change where they're going and, and that's it so I thought that was pretty cool so how to do that so I'd like to show in these next few videos tutorials how I added a second alien that would or a second enemy that would behave differently now of course to do this first of all I had to come up with the graphics which I did in Photoshop and then the question was do you place the graphics in a separate alien movie clip in your library right so you can see I have MC hero and I have MC alien so what I decided was not to create a second alien movie clip but to inside of my alien movie clip if we look inside you can see that what I did was is I decided to let me zoom out a little bit here I decided to add after Alien 1 right here I put frame labels for first of all Alien 1, Alien 2, Alien 2R for aliens moving right and Alien 2L for alien moving left. Let me zoom in just a little here. Okay so these frame labels if you click on the you put a blank keyframe and then you just put the name in the frame label right here as you know um, and then right here these are really now what I have is frame lips so at the end of the movement you'll see there's action script and it just says go to and play one but these ones say something different so this says this frame label says alien 2 so this will say go to and play alien 2 in quotation marks and then if you go here it'll say go to and play alien 2 R so then these are little looping little walking cycles right so the thing will just loop right here right so let me see if I can get that working. You could say control loop playback, control play. No. Let's see if we can get that working. Control stop and then control enable simple frame actions. So if you put it right here, control play, you can see that it's just looping right here because of the action script telling it to go back to Alien 2R. So it's a little frame loop and what's nice about it is it's got the second alien and the alien has a more complex movement there's front walking and back walking which is this and then there's side to side walking here right so first of all you're gonna need to add this piece to your to your game so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy this all this these keyframes right here just copy all of this copy frames and then I'll go to the old version of the game I'll go in my library double click on MC alien and then I'll make a new layer here and I'm just gonna click on the frame first and then right click and paste frames and so now I've pasted in I need to put a frame here F5 but aside from that I've got the complete thing now inside of the older version of the game. So now my alien is ready to go and now we need to start adding the code that will allow this to function. So we'll go to the game on keyframe on the main timeline right and we'll go to the action script code and so how do we start adding secondary aliens right? Well I'll show you what I did. First of all well let's talk about how we create the aliens. So if we go to 
create aliens. I want the new aliens to show up in um, the second level. So you can see here we have a, a variable i equals game level, right? And so what we're going to do is we'll go down here to where game level 2 comes on. All right, case 2. And on the second level, I want to add a few more aliens for the new aliens. So what I'll do is I said as long as j is less than 25, because I'm going to add some aliens, right? Then you can see we push this pushes the attach movie and attaches the alien and attaches the alien to the stage. But what if we, as we're looping through, we put an if statement? And so that's what I did. So I said, and this is how I did it. I said if j is less than, let's say, 21, right? So now when j is less than 21, which means 0 to 20, right, we're going to push in these aliens and that's going to be fine. Now I have to put an end statement here. Let's see here. It's going to go here. And then what you want to do is you want to tab everything over. So tab, 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 tab. Okay, so now I said if it's less than 21, we're going to do the regular thing, right? But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, I'm going to say right after this if statement, and by the way, that's facing the wrong way, I'm going to say else, right? So once we're done with that, we're going to copy all this code here, copy and paste, except this time after we push the aliens in, what we're going to do is we're going to say my alien copy paste dot go to and play alien 2. All right, so now at level two, right, it'll loop through 25 numbers here, which will attach 25 aliens, but it's only going to do the first, let's say, 20, right, for, um, for the first kind of alien, and then the rest will be for the second kind of alien because we push the aliens into the array and we attach them to the stage, but we have them go to and play alien to the frame label. So we'll check it out, see if it works. So we get to level two, and we should see some different types of aliens. And we do. We see the new alien, right? Which, and there's four of them, which is perfect. That's what I wanted. But the problem is that the new alien is behaving just like the first alien. They're just chasing me, right? So now, now that we've attached new aliens to the stage, right? We need them to behave differently. And so that creates a new problem.